Hi everybody, hi Tamar. Uh, we're doing a video about Dorn, something that you've been asking us to do for a long time, so this is it. Yalla Tamar, tell us a little bit about Dorn. Dorn is a small southern kingdom. In the Seven Kingdoms. In the Seven Kingdoms, uh, located beyond the Dornish mountains, which gives it a unique climate because, you know, there's uh, mm. tall mountains, they shut okay. down the they block the wind from uh, the north so okay. it's uh, like a different climate it's warmer in dawn they are ruled by the house martel and now they are uh, in conflict or at least <coughs> in some rivalry bad blood with the uh, lannisters right mm -hmm. because tywin sacked the city and killed mm -hmm. uh, uh, what was her name elia martel uh-huh <laughs> Uh, was supposed to be queen as well. She when was married to Rhaegar. She was married Rhaegar. to Rhaegar and she was princess. And, uh, right. But? But uh, the mountain uh, raped her mm. and killed her children. Say her name! And killed her. Mm -hmm. And raped her children <laughs> and killed her. It's like Inigo Montoya, you kill my brother, prepare to die. They're both... Raped her children. Uh, uh, that happened in the sack of King's Landing, mm -hmm. right? And uh, there is bad blood between the Lannisters and uh, the Danish people today. Ever since, right? Ever since. Don't forget uh, also that Oberyn, the beloved Oberyn, mm -hmm. you know, the 16-year-old Danish girls that scream his name. <laughs> He's the, the brother time. of the prince. He's the brother of the prince and he was brutally killed humiliately killed by the puppy of uh, um, Tywin. A big puppy. The big puppy of uh, Tywin. The big puppy. <laughs> <laughs> the puppy There's that, the hound and the puppy. The, pu the puppy that rides, rides the mountain. And uh, also uh, the big plot that we are exposed to uh, in the books. In the books. It hasn't been yet, yet exposed in the, sh in the show. So, yeah, so spoiler alert spoiler for us, the next season. Uh, but the, the major plot is that Dornish are a part of the game. And the prince, game. he has like a 25, 30 year plan mm -hmm. to get back at mm -hmm. the Lannisters and yeah. he's not really as meek as we are led to believe, first of all. And they are a strong house. Uh, they are a strong nation as well. Mm -hmm. uh, they are very hard to conquer because there is uh, only a small pass. Right. Uh, the mountain also. Uh, the mountains. Yeah, and all the small pass ah, that uh, yeah. goes through the mountains in order to go... Uh, it's called the mountain pass. So it's very tough to uh, invade Dawn. They are, they, are, they are different than the other six kingdoms. So, so basically you could say in the seven kingdoms that the north has a unique uh, uh, character and the mm -hmm. south is again very different. Yeah. From, from the mainland, whatever. Yeah. Another uh, similarity with the North that they, the Dornish are really proud uh, mm. with their culture and uh, they are proud with their ancestry, right. uh, which is uh, Eastern, Ossian uh, right. uh, ancestry. And Many years ago, in the faraway continent, Essos, Essos yeah. there was a queen called Nymeria. Mm -hmm. And when the Valyrian Empire expanded there... To the Rhoynish... To the Rhoynish Ro the Rhoynish uh, River. river right. and okay. She uh, traveled on 10,000 ships uh, right, right. with her people and came to Dawn and married uh, House Martel. Uh, married okay. the, the, the king the there, okay. uh, the prince in there, and they could together conquer the rest of uh, Dawn and uh, establish the kingdom. They were the last to join the, the seven kingdoms. Right. Uh, After Aegon, Aegon conquered the six, six, first six kingdoms, mm -hmm. right? And but he couldn't, he couldn't beat them. And later successors tried, but only through an alliance by marriage. Uh, political deal. Political, political deal. Right. Uh, Dawn uh, was annexed to the seven kingdoms. Okay, so if you look to historical inspirations for Dawn, mm -hmm. what do you see in, in history? Uh, when I read the books, I immediately thought, uh, not, immediately? Imme not immediately, after like one and a half page, uh, <laughs> pages, <laughs> it reminded me of Spain. The Iberian uh, Peninsula, okay. it's also with half of today's Portugal. And they have also the mountains. The Pyrenees uh, separate them from the rest of Europe. Right. Spain, you have warmer climate, a Mediterranean mm. climate. And in the Middle Ages, they were very, very different from the rest of Europe okay. in terms of uh, culture and religion. How so? They were Muslims. <gasps> mm -hmm. This is a threat. There used threat. to be a there used to be a time that Muslims controlled Europe. I mean, come on, American it people! Out, it was very independent-minded. Uh, it was the kingdom of uh, Andalus, Al Andalus, okay. the Andalus. Um, why do you think that it's? Uh, why, how is it similar to? to it's similar Europe? in the sense that uh, it was conquered by an outside conqueror mm. that came with seven thousand. 
uh, warriors. And, this is the Muslims? Yeah, the Muslims was named uh, Tariq, Tariq uh, al Zid, And like the, the rock of uh, Tariq is Jabal Tariq, Gibraltar. So the straits mm -hmm. now is uh, named uh, after him. After a few generations, uh, the, the area became like a state. Uh, like a political unit. Mm, independent? Independent, independent from the Muslim world and independent okay. from, uh, uh, of course, the Christian world. Mm -hmm. They weren't a part of the big caliphate in the North Africa and uh, the Middle East. And the political uh, leader was an Amir. What is it? Amir, Amir. it means prince, basically. Ah. Like a lower uh, degree. Ah, like a mm -hmm. Compared to the rest of Europe, they were, they were much more advanced and mm. plural. Uh, pluralistic. pluralistic than the rest of Europe okay. and there was even a time after a few centuries <clears throat> that there was this amiracy of uh, Cordoba okay. which like was a beacon of uh, knowledge knowledge and uh, pluralistically uh, we know Jews with Christians and Muslims mm. it wasn't exactly like that but it was a basically a uh, very open society uh, and this know, is, uh, so so this is similar to Dawn right it's more similar to Dawn which have their own customs which are we, in our perspective, are more advanced mm -hmm. than the rest of the... Uh, right. Uh, the way they treat uh, the, their bastards, they treat them mm -hmm. kindly, they don't look at them... They have uh, an open, uh, openness uh, towards sex and gays right. as well. Gays also? Yeah, like Oberlin says. Uh, oh, you know. right. Also towards women, right? Mm -hmm. They have a Dornish law. The uh, females can inherit uh, the prince mm -hmm. and, and lords. You want a good girl, but you need a bad pussy. <laughs> and the show, I think, gave the final uh, step right. uh, of approval to this uh, comparison uh, that they told them to make a, like a, an Hispanic uh, accent when they speak in uh, English. Okay, so this is a great setup, incredible, incredible, Itamar. This is a great setup for this video's ball prediction. <laughs> so what is your ball prediction regarding Dorn? If we compare uh, Dawn to Spain, in the Middle Ages, in the Middle Ages, so eventually Spain was reconquered by the Christians okay. and uh, established a powerful, independent kingdom, okay. united kingdom of uh, Spain, okay. uh, in a Christian kingdom, and then expanded and uh, found a lot of the territories and conquered a lot okay. of territories in uh, America. So you think that Dawn is on the way up? They will play uh, some kind of uh, important mm. uh, part of it, part of uh, giving the chance to female to inherit right. and take titles and uh, be the sovereign. Uh, I think that part will uh, influence the next regime or establishment. Right. Uh, like uh, Ariane, the prince's sister, she wanted to crown Myrcella. Mm -hmm. According to uh, their law, Myrcella should have right. been uh, the queen after uh, Geoffrey died. Right, because she's older than Tommen. So we think that Sansa will end up uh, sitting on the throne, okay. whichever throne it will be. Plastic throne. In plastic uh, throne, yeah. Mm -hmm. But she won't be able to be queen unless they change the law. Right. Uh, so maybe Ariane will benefit that uh, from the, the changing of the law and will become a queen. Maybe she will be able to change the law because the, mm -hmm. because the seven kingdoms are, are falling apart. Mm -hmm. And she will be queen, but after she will uh, die, Sansa in some regard, like, you know... You think uh, she will die? I think she will die. Okay. And a few years after that, uh, some uh, salesmen from Dawn will conquer America to us. <laughs> or, maybe, or maybe sort of yours. Like uh, adventurers from Dawn, and there are a lot of adventurers in Dawn. Right. Oberyn was, a, was Ober an adventurer. adventurer. And they also, you know, they, they, gave, they have magnificent, magnificent uh, fighters like Arthur Dane. Right. Uh, the morning star, you know, with the morning star. Uh, to your point about like the new regime and, uh, that they will play a part in, it seems that they are more receptive to what their people think and it plays a part like in their internal politics. Like when, when Ariane tries to convince her father Doran that he should go to war against uh, the Lannisters while well, he has his own plan, he, uh, that one of the reasons that she gives is that the people want a war, and this is why he has to listen to the people. You would have me go to war. The whole country would have you go to war. Then we are lucky the whole country does not decide. Well, and we don't see that like in other kingdoms. So that's a little bit like the widelings, like they have like this democratic gene. So, so that mm -hmm. gene or... It's a quality gene. So that could spread to King's Landing and then like to the whole Seven Kingdoms. That would be yeah. awesome, mm -hmm. for, be awesome for women. Awesome.
There was this book by uh, Jose Saramago, mm -hmm. the Portuguese uh, author. Anti-Semi. Also deceased. Uh, Stone Raft, where the Iberian Peninsula just disconnected from Europe and floated like in the Atlantic. That meant to signify like, like that it's different mm -hmm. from mainland Europe. That's also a little bit similar to, to Dorn, maybe the children of the forest will oh. disconnect it. Bold prediction. You know where you heard it first. This is incredible. Okay, so let's wrap it up. So if you have a different idea about what the part Dorn will play in the conclusion of the story, be sure to mention that in the comments. And right between the, the, the comments section and this video, there is a little section that's, that, that is called the description. We have a link for our Patreon page over there. If you want to help us make this channel sustainable, that would be awesome. Uh, of course, subscribe to get our next videos. You can check out our Facebook and Twitter account. And now there's some, some cool music coming up. So you have to keep watching, keep watching, keep watching. Give us an upper on our best selection of pussy. This is a pussy blowout. All right, we got white pussy, black pussy, Spanish pussy, yellow pussy. We got hot pussy, cold pussy. We got wet pussy. We got smelly pussy.